talk more about the visits and the situation in Iraq more broadly. We're joined by Hossein Abdul Hussein, Research Fellow at the FDD. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Um, the UN chief wants to support democracy in Iraq. That is not quite what Iraq's neighbour Iran wants, is it? Uh, you're right. I don't think that's what Iran wants. Uh, and I, I don't think Iraq is going the way that uh, the UN Secretary General wants it to go. And I think his uh, visit is a, is a little bit uh, too late. Uh, there's a, a dozen of issues that have gone wrong over the past few years. First and foremost, the uh, election law that was first drafted by the UN now looks something very dif different and undemocratic. And then uh, including the, the freedom, freedom of people in the country that's always threatened, political assassinations, you name it. I think that the scene is very far from democracy in Iraq, unfortunately. Uh, have the Americans dropped the ball on Iraq? Um, is it now just completely in Iran's orbit and their influence there has, has, has disappeared almost completely? Quite the opposite. I think Iran has failed to control Iraq the way it wants to control Iraq, or at least the way it does control Lebanon. Um, I think this is to, uh, uh, to the misfortune of the Iranian regi regime and to the uh, good fortune of the Iraqis. Uh, the majority of the Shia in Iraq opposed the Iranian regime. Uh, the majority of the Shia, all Sunni Shia, uh, the majority of the Iraqis, Sunni Shia and Kurds uh, are not happy with Iran. Iranian intervention uh, in the regime. I think the faction that's loyal to the Iranian regime in Iraq is a minority faction. This was very clear during the last election. I think it's still clear now. And you have to keep in mind that at least 73 uh, uh, legislators in Iraqi parliament uh, made it to parliament, even though they failed the election, and they only made it to parliament. These are the ones who support the Iranian regime. They made it to parliament after the resignation of the Southern Bloc. And uh, Antonio Guterres will also be headed to Erbil. Um, the autonomous uh, Kurdish north described as something of a bright spot in the country. Well, it's a very good move. I'm happy to see him go there. We know that uh, Erbil has been under pressure, especially from Iran. It has suffered uh, direct uh, attacks from the IRGC, whether in, whether in form of drones uh, or ballistic missiles. Uh, all the uh, opposition uh, of, uh, of Iraq have moved to, uh, from Baghdad to Erbil. Uh, free thinkers, intellectuals, all of them live there, and that's what has brought uh, immense Iranian pressure uh, on Erbil. So it's a good mm -hmm. step to see that uh, the UN Secretary General recognizes Erbil and is making a visit there. Hussein Abdul Hussein, great to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.